Hello and welcome to my review of the NK Tech NKM1, a tiny little transceiver. Uh, I've been looking at these for a couple of uh, a couple of years now. They've been around that long, and I decided to to get one. I actually thought I was getting two. Um, these weren't priced exceptionally well uh, on AliExpress, uh, and the advert did read like I was getting a pair of these, but I only got one for twenty five pounds. So, right from the get go. Um, it, uh, it seems quite an expensive radio. Anyway, you can see some of the basic features of the radio there. Simple light, um, indication light. Comes with an earpiece, what it's worth, and a lanyard and a UK adapter. The manual, um, very, very basic. Um, doesn't really offer much in the way of help in operation of the radio, but at least it is in English. Offers some basic specs there. It says it's going to be a two and a half watt radio. I very much doubt that. I'd, I'd very much uh, expect this to be within the PMR uh, power levels in terms of power. Um, we can get a rough idea of that a little bit later on in the test. Um, charging is via a standard micro uh, USB and it draws about an amp there when charging. Um, as you can see there, size next to a 9 volt battery, this thing is tiny and it weighs literally nothing, 49 grams. Um, I decided to whiz the back off, which is held in by just one screw and carefully pried it open with a, uh, a knife. Um, you'll notice the sides have pinched the lithium polymer battery, that's not me, that's the actual case, so I'm not too sure about that, but it's a very, very um, compact module and certainly if somebody was looking at incorporating this board into something else, you could take that out and um, pop it into something else fairly easily, uh, which might be of more use to some people. Um, for uh, maybe covert operations of some kind, <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, it does come with, like I say, that headphone mic jack, but I've not tried it. Um, I thought we'd do a field strength test with the radio. Um, not sure how uh, successful this was going to be, but um, as you can see from the meter, it's not exactly uh, breaking any records on field strength, so I'm not going to be expecting much out in the field with this radio. Um, here are the different colours that this radio is available from. At the moment, um, this is listed under other names. The Huego M2 is one of the names for this set. Uh, but this is currently the NK Tech badged version, which I got from AliExpress, uh, which for the, what I have to say, expensive price of £25, this really is £15 more than it should be. The programming cable, cable is available from 409 Shop if you do want to get this and program it up. Uh, it's a maximum of uh, 16 channels. The software is available though and uh, I'll put up the frequencies later. Of the Right, it's uh, power on is the center button. Push and hold. Power on, 13. I can't find center button. <laughs> Alexa's listening. All right, okay. Um, yeah, so that's that does various functions. You can hold these two keys either side to um, to do various things like switching the Vox on or off or changing the language uh, from Chinese to English and vice versa. Um, there is no flashlight on this, or the advert for one of them says a flashlight, but that's not a flashlight, that's just a charging indicator and it glows red when you key up. So that, that's all that does. Channel up and down. 14. 13. There's no volume control on it, which might annoy the heck out of somebody. I uh, don't know how that works with the earpiece. I've not tried it with the supplied earpiece. Um, pushing and holding the up one. Power low. Turns the power low. Pushing and holding it again. Power high. Turns the power high. Pushing and holding the down one. Volume low. Oh, you can adjust the volume. So it's volume low or push again. So it's low or high, so there's two states for volume, and the there is also um, functions uh, on that. Let me just double check the, uh, the manual again. Okay, so it differs from what the manual says, because the manual says that the long press is to monitor, so I to drop the squelch, but um, that just turned it low and high. Um, so um, it doesn't seem that you can get the scan function uh, uh, either so I think you probably have to do that in the software so I imagine you choose what these buttons do in the supplied software but I'm not going to be getting the, the supplied software probably for the for, well I've got the software but I'm not going to be getting the programming cable because uh, it's probably not a radar I'm going to use a great deal it's just more of a novelty item really um, so I imagine that you can configure these you must be able to configure them to either um, to scan 
or to yeah, to monitor uh, either one, either button, because you've only got we haven't got a side button, you see, so it has to be done on these buttons. Right, this is the probably the world's smallest mobile phone. This is tiny. I'm sure you might find examples of phones that are smaller than this, but this is absolutely miniature. Um, quite hilariously, the, the stuff that they pack in the box considerably is considerably heavier and more bulky than the actual phone itself. I mean, what is the point of packing this in the box with a micro USB when literally everyone in the world has a micro USB connector? I don't see the point. So on the scales, this thing weighs, this kit weighs 84 grams, these extras that they have to ship all the way from China. When the actual phone itself with the battery is 39 grams. I mean, when will the Chinese companies learn? We don't want all this tap with our stuff. We don't want earphones. We don't want any of it. Um, the phone itself is compact and well made. The center button is a rocker button, which positions all the way, uh, which gives you multi-functions all the way around. I mean, it's a really nicely made phone. I got this for 12 pounds delivered to the UK. Um, it's if you've got uh, if your eyesight's not great, this display you might struggle with. Uh, I need my glasses anyway, so. Um, but it's a clear enough display. Um, one thing I would mention here in the UK, a three SIM didn't work. I had to go on to O2. Three um, pairs go SIM didn't work in it for some reason. It has an audio player, your usual, your old-fashioned phone stuff, if you like. There's no camera on this, but there is a flashlight. Um, it's got, it will play MP3s, videos, phone book memory. It's got an FM radio and uh, file manager not been in there much but it is a fully functioning phone and it, the core quality on it is fantastic and the standby time well I've had it eight days uh, without the, with the battery not even going flat so if you want a, a burner phone or a phone to take out when you go on a say a, 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 out on the, a town if you're not worried about losing it it's an ideal phone for that and this is partly why we bought it um, because the missus takes a clutch purse out and she doesn't like taking her big phone with her. So there you can see it compared to the um, to the transceiver there. As you can see, it's almost an identical size. So if you really were stuck on, on size and space, you could take a phone and a right transceiver out with you um, uh, of those you know diminutive sizes and you really wouldn't know you've got either of them with you. Um, and the phone is, you know, absolutely, totally functional as a phone. Um, you can't do much else other than use it as a phone, but um, it's absolutely great. I, I, I think it's, I, so I show it to my friends and they think I'm mad, you know, that they're buying such a tiny little phone. But um, I think it's quite a conversation piece and um, we'll probably give it to my son when he's out and about over the park and stuff just to, uh, so we can keep an eye on him. Now this runs on your, your standard, it almost looks like a Canon size uh, camera battery. Um, but I say it's perfectly adequate and like I said we, we got this sim from O2 just pay as you go sim and uh, it doesn't expire as long as you use it at least once in the six months um, so there you go it's gonna work so I'm having major troubles with rubbishy old team viewer it's really not working on cellular at the minute this is G7LNK portable with the NK Tech NK MK1 at location A approximately three miles testing five four three two one one two three four five. Right, we're at location B. This is G7 L N K portable with the NK Tech at location B approximately six miles testing one two three four five five four three two one. See if that does anything. Well, I mean, I don't normally review mobile phones, but this one just, you know, when I saw it next to that uh, that NK Tech radio, I just thought, well, they were such a similar size, it was just worth um, doing a review on both of them together for a bit of fun. And um, I've got to say, I'm, I'm really quite impressed with this. This really does tick all the boxes for me. I'm really big, got really big hands, and I like, uh, even though I like, obviously, devices I can control, I really like small devices as well and uh, this definitely is proper old school it's like stepping back 10 years and um, and it but it's a snappy little phone it has Bluetooth connectivity so you can use it with your headsets I mean I mean you could dangle it from around your neck couldn't you? you would never even know you got it 
and um, as like a burner phone or as I've already said uh, a phone to take out in your purse if you're a woman you know or if you're a guy if you're going out jogging you don't want anything big just literally you know you can pop that in your in your, in your shorts pocket you never know you've even got it um, and it's you know it's, it might be a get out of jail card um, thing just to keep in your in your dash or in, in your your glove compartment you know it just um, to get you out of trouble I mean I, I did mention earlier on in the video I did have a problem with three though in the UK three didn't like this phone for some reason um, so I had to go with O2 and a pay as you go sim is ten pounds and as long as you use it within six months it'll stay active and your credit will stay up um, so you have to use it every every six months which is not a problem at all and uh, yeah so all in I, I, it took a while to come this it I get from it took about three or four weeks but um, I think it was well worth the wait and as you've seen on the video they come in all different colors so you can pick and choose which one you like well what can I say about this um, I'm a little bit disappointed I'll be honest um, I know it's a toy it literally is it's like something that's popped out of a Christmas cracker isn't it um, some might say it's not even that good um, but it yeah I think it's been a little bit of a disappointment um, I thought I was getting two of these for that price really for that sort of money I'd steer very well clear of this unless you just want it for the novelty or the form factor in that it's a very very small radio um, it does work that being said and you know it looks like it's got a decent sized battery in there um, but for any serious use I would absolutely avoid this um, one of the biggest problems with it is you don't know if it's on or off there's no light so I could see me running the battery down because it, it you know it's not obvious if it's on it doesn't even like be useful if it just flashed every now and then but you just don't know um, so yeah this one is definitely an avoid um, so unless you can get it for a tenner delivered I really wouldn't bother with this um, it, it's not worth wasting your time and that's why I've not bothered getting the programming cable for it um, okay so um we'll, we'll definitely leave that one on the shelf i think and um i hope you've enjoyed the the, the test anyway um of the of these two devices and um and uh we'll catch you on the next one cheers